Over the last couple weeks, I've been able to read through about 90 applications to Airmeyer's Launchpad and even meet one-on-one -on -one with 27 of those teams. So I've got to have a lot of conversations about people that are working on how to pull carbon from the air. They're working really hard, it's inspiring, they're very passionate, and there's some things that I see come up over and over again that I want to help all founders working on carbon rural startups get better at. Uh, for one, you know, when talking with teams, it often comes up that it seems like they're not that clear on kind of where they're headed or how they're going to get there. And one thing that comes up over and over again is thinking about the, the techno-economics of what you're, what you're building. So basically the system diagram of energy coming in, energy going out, carbon coming in, carbon coming out. It seems like a lot of teams are kind of hesitant to talk about it. And I wanted to tell you that what, from my perspective, when I'm, when I'm meeting with a team, and I, I think this, this perspective applies to potential co-founders, potential hires, potential investors, they're going to assume that you're giving the most detail that you have. And so when the details aren't there, when the, this idea of, okay, we're building this system, it's, it's got these, this energy coming in, it's got this carbon out, if you're not at that level of detail, I'm going to assume that you don't have it. And I think a lot of other people are, are as well. So I wanted to talk about why that is. So at first glance, you might say, well, it's, it's because they, uh, they are hiding the details or they, they don't feel comfortable sharing the details. I think that's a possibility. I think the reality, though, is that a lot of teams just they don't have the tools to, to get to that level of, of detail. And the reason is because techno-economic assessment is it's really complicated. And until very recently, there just wasn't a lot of background knowledge or tools or templates uh, that, that teams could use. So, you know, going back to reviewing companies uh, with the Apollo projects, I would just see these pitch decks that some of them would have an you know, incredible spreadsheet, incredible data showing exactly kind of how the system is going to work, and then others that didn't. And again, we kind of all assumed, well, if they, if they don't have those, those details in their pitch deck, they're not there yet. Um, the thing is, I think with the, the new tools that are coming out of, uh, for example, the University of Michigan's Global CO2 Initiative, I think these tools for techno-economic assessment for early stage teams, I think those can really raise the bar for everybody that's working in carbon removal. And that's, that's what we need right now. I want every company to be able to, to get better. If it's just a matter of, you know, you've, you've got a prototype or you've got an idea, but you just need the, the structured thinking or the structured template, that's something that, uh, that Grant Faber has, uh, came to Airminus Launchpad this week to talk about. Uh, and they've got a bunch of great tools for modeling the, the energy usage, the carbon uptake, all this sort of stuff, and it's something that it's it's hard, but it's not impossible thanks to these uh, these tools. So I encourage you to check them out. The other thing that teams can do besides diving into a, a pretty rigorous uh, techno-economic assessment would be to talk to other founders uh, and, and say, you know, how did you approach this? What is what is kind of your system diagram look like? If you had a, a graphic that talks about your process at each stage in it, uh, what is that? Uh, I think that if, if every founder who, is, who didn't have this went out and tried to find somebody that, that did and said, hey, can, can we talk about your system? Maybe it maybe it's, has to do with soil. Maybe it's a direct air capture machine. Maybe it's a direct ocean capture machine. I think by going out and having those conversations with other founders, uh, there's plenty of people that have figured it out. The, the companies that are raising money, uh, that are raising millions of dollars in this space, I've seen the spreadsheets. They're kind of like conspiracy theory level detail and craziness, which you don't have to be there at this moment. You don't have to start there, but just knowing, but at the point where you're raising millions of dollars to build your company, you're gonna need that. So why not start now? Find somebody else who it, you know, has some clear thinking about this and see what you can learn. And if you talk to a founder who doesn't have, uh, doesn't have things modeled out, maybe you both continue searching for uh, who, you know, who, who does have this better figured out and better modeled. Um, one of the other resources they can use is the business model lab uh, on air miners. Uh, it's, it's more on a, a business model uh, standpoint, but I think it has that kind of structured thinking about, uh, about a business in the same way that a techno-economic assessment has that structured thinking about the, uh, the, the technology that you're building. So long-term, the reason that I'm talking about this is because as, as Grant said at the, at the Launchpad workshop this week, is that 
if there is a, a, a challenge or something that, that won't work about your system, you're either going to figure it out now and it'll be easy, or you're going to figure it out later when it's expensive and hard. I mean, by the time you're, imagine your climb works and you've put a hundred million dollars into a new facility, you want to figure that out on the drawing board. You want to figure that out in the blueprints. You don't want to figure it out when they're actually constructing the machine. Right? The reason I'm talking about this, this is part of the long game of getting to gigaton scale carbon removal. If you're working on a new idea and you, you don't know it's going to work, these tools can help you better figure out that it might or that it might not. And you want to know, right? Because that, that problem, that issue is something that if you figure it out now, you can potentially change it. You can say, actually, you know what? We can, we can use this module instead, or we can, instead of going down a chemistry route, we can go down a mechanical route. Uh, and if you can figure out that it doesn't work, but you want to improve it, you're, you're way ahead of somebody who doesn't even really know if their system is going to work, doesn't even know if the order of magnitude uh, of the energy in, of the carbon in, adds up. And so, you know, these, these challenges are, um, I think they're a part of every early stage company in some way. I think that it either gets resolved when you're talking to your first advisor, when you're talking to a co-founder, to an investor. Um, but the earlier that you get started, the sooner those people can come in and say, wow, this is, you really have thought this through. Uh, and again, with these tools that the Global CO2 Initiative have, have developed, uh, it can make it super easy to, to think through this very tough uh, problem. What are your materials? Where are the energy usage? What's the diagram of your of your process and really you owe it to the to the world to the to the carbon removal industry to help figure this out to figure out you know is this going to work early rather than putting off till later when you're millions of dollars invested in your company and then it fails if we don't figure this out as a carbon removal industry if we don't figure this out now and it fails later it means it's more expensive it means it's soaked up investment time your time your investment that could have gone to something that might have worked instead. And we just, we can't afford to waste that time. We can't afford to waste all the resources. Uh, so, you know, whether it's with your team, with your advisors, with your investors, being able to admit what you don't know is really important. Being able to admit what, you know, this actually doesn't work as good as we think it does. We like the other parts of this system, but this thing, this thing sucks. That's the better approach. And that's what we're working on doing at Airliner's Launchpad, is figuring out how do we raise the bar for all the companies working on pulling carbon uh, from the air. We should be clear about that in our application process, that that's what we're looking for, and we'll roll that into the, the second batch that we're doing of, of Airliner's Launchpad. And next week, I'll be talking about more of what I'm learning from working with Launchpad teams, from talking with other companies that applied to Launchpad, so that we can figure out how to get to gigaton scale and removal faster.